Positiva, is that how we said we're going to say it? Pavatiza. 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 And it it's... traditional Eastern European Christmas tradition. <laughs> Okay, we have an upgrade. I found my camera. I got the SD card from one of the older cameras, put it in this one. Batteries are charged. Ben is now doing some fun things in the kitchen. Pavatiza. Pavatiza. So, as you can probably tell, our kitchen is a mess. We are in the process of getting everything going here. And he's wow. got. $20 vanilla beans. Yeah, apparently vanilla beans are $20, 26 That was $20 with our Hair Cedar discount because it is my Hair Cedar. Okay. I was told to wait to record because... Because he doesn't want to admit that he... <laughs> I may have found a recipe for this Papatiza bread that was in grams and all that and I had to convert it fine I found an app to help me convert everything did not realize that at the very top you had to change it from water to bread or what are the other things oh, sugar, sugar milk whatever so the dough in the very beginning looked like pancake batter instead of actual actual dough we looked at the recipe again, figured it out, and now it is a beautiful round ball of dough. Where is it? It's right, it's right there. It is rising. It has to sit and rise for at least an hour, and then... And I have buttered the pan. He's buttered the pan. It is buttered. The pan is buttered. So because we spent the last 10 minutes arguing about how he doesn't know how to do math. Okay, well, I did not argue. I just said that I didn't do it correctly. And then he said, thank God we're further along in our relationship, because otherwise, what was, what, what did you say? I just would be able to tolerate this inconsistency of results. I mean, I... We're screwing up live in person, or oh, recorded in person. What oh, did you do? My one to your ten. Oh no. What did you do? No, I just forgot to put the milk and butter mixture in. Oh. Well, what is that? Just butter? Oh! You forgot to put it in with the mixing stiff. Oh, well, that's not as big of a screw-up as mine, admittedly. <laughs> I still am the one that loses the most here. Now, we are patiently waiting in this harsh lighting, and we have mixed our beautiful filling, which is vanilla and pecans and butter, sugar, sugar milk. milk. It smells absolutely delicious. We have our pan all greased, ready to go. The bread is still... Um, trying to rise. It's got about 15 minutes left. But there she is. She's rising, doing her thing. We just have to wait for the dough to finish rising. Then Ben is going to smush it out uh, so that it is nice and flat. And then we have to put the filling in there somehow and spread it out evenly. And then I believe have to roll it up you have to double it in size so that it's paper thin and you can see through it using your fingers going from underneath. Like this. <laughs> and <clears throat> then you spread out the filling and then you use the paper to roll it up like a small roll. <laughs> and it is supposedly going to be thin enough so that it can be seen through. Um, you should see four quadrants of swirls. And then it is going to be nicely rolled into this thing and it will go around the pan and you like snake it on top and it has to rise It has to rise in that pan um, For another hour. hour. Oh another hour. Okay We've moved on to phase 297 yeah. um, We have to spread out the dough until you can see through it, and we are not there yet. Um, <laughs> very stressful. It would um, be helpful to have a roller. It would be helpful to have a roller, but that is why I've already reached out to my brother and asked if my grandma's rolling pin is at her house. And I'm probably going to grab that when I go home for Christmas, so she's 
giving me something for Christmas a year later and doesn't even know it. He basically kicked me out of the kitchen and told me to move um, because I was in the way. So I am wrapping the Amazon packages that have been sitting here for, um, I don't know, a week or two or more. Oh, bonus kitty. Okay, and this one is unamused with everything. So, life in the Mr. House. Mr. House. Which is what we've dubbed our house because we weren't sure to get an M flag for outside or an R flag. So if we got both, it would be the Mr. House. So that is what we are officially called now, the, the Mr. House, because it's on the internet. So there's that. Okay, Master Chef at work, brushing on the butter, butter. I guess. We're about to add the filling. I'm not worried about adding filling, I'm worried about the, the rolling aspect of this. Let's see if I'm allowed in the kitchen this time to help. Smells so good. Imagine getting like vanilla bean frappuccino, maybe, but with like chocolate a syrup. chocolate syrup and a sugar cookie with a little bit of pecan praline mixed in. And that is kind of what this goo smells like. I really need someone from Palm Beach Tan or something needs to sponsor me because this. Lighting is terrible, and I need a tan. This is obnoxious. I look like Caps Casper. I kind of always look like Casper. The spatula is tearing the pastry. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that too earlier. There were many accidents involving this. One of them was using a blender, and I had an unfortunate chopping accident. We are going to start rolling. Just want to get it started. figured out that I can just go and put all of the saved videos onto my computer while Ben was baking because it had an hour to proof. So we did that again and it looks nice and snakish. But not only did he make the pavatiza, he also made biscuits. We don't have to highlight the biscuits that are not great. He is not happy with the biscuits because he doesn't think they got enough rise on them. But I have already eaten one and a half. So, clearly, they're fine. I don't have nothing to worry about. So, he's doing that. We're gonna bake this thing. Probably watch either a short Christmas something. And then whenever it's done baking, we will bite into it. Also, hopefully by the end of this video, I will learn to look at the lens and not at the screen that shows me what I look like on the screen. Because then, I'm not even talking to any of you. I'm talking to Stage left. All right, here it goes. Okay, and now it is going in the oven. Okay, bye, bake well. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. That is beautiful. It's split. It doesn't matter, it's beautiful. Okay, Pavatiza is done. Finally. It is beautiful. Look at it. It's got a nice shine. It's got some spring to it. We are going to place it on the beautiful, appropriate Christmas plate. Look, not a soggy bottom. This is a great opportunity for me to remind anyone who would like to donate a KitchenAid mixer to our cause. Now is the season, as you can see, to do so. Ooh, looks delicious. Not sponsored. As if I was trying to catch the... Sugar crumbs. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Did daddy get stuff on your nose? <laughs> Did you get stuff on your nose? Does it taste good? Yeah, you can't find it, but you can smell it. Aww. That was mean. Is it gonna sploosh? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're drizzling. And drizzling. Neat.
Finn is cutting into the Pavatiza. Moment of truth. It's a little. Hey, it's got a little swirl happening. Look at that. A little, a little swirly. It's a little. Huh. It's a little dense, but <laughs> I'm sure it will taste delicious. It smells really good. It's very. What is the word? Dutch. It's dense. It tastes more like a uh, gooey, like cinnamon roll. Well, I think the pastry was too thick. Or the uh, thin. The it was dough, too thick. It was, the dough was too thick. Because I don't have an M and F and rolling pin to get it thin <laughs> enough. Somebody and, get this boy a rolling pin. And. Didn't give me the oh. Right ingredients. Oh, now we're back on the flour. So the flour is the reason that it is a little dense, apparently. And I, it and I don't have a mixer, so I didn't mix with the hook. Probably didn't get the gluten going. But, which is why I didn't stretch when I pulled on it. Well, it still tastes delicious. It tastes good, yeah. And that's what counts. You would not be voted out for that. I can't grab it. Okay. Uh, also, hmm. Might have been the pecans might have had too much liquid. That's true. The pecan mixture did. Might sort of bake them first. So final verdict is that overall look is pretty good. Taste is good. Um, could have been cooked a little bit longer. And next time we will make sure to measure all the ingredients out correctly from the beginning. And that should solve many problems. And I guess that is all for this episode of Cooking or Baking with Ben, or Big Ben's Bacon Show. That's it. Big yeah. Ben's Bacon Show. All right. Neat.